What was your experience at the uh, Irvine campus today? Well, it was very hostile. The police were very forceful with us. Um, you know, uh, they made it clear that we were undesirable. And it was clear to me that this is beyond just security, beyond worrying about safety of, uh, they're, worried about, they're not worried about safety of the, 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 they claim that they're worried about the safety of the students and the faculty. That's not true. Uh, they're worried about political correctness, that they don't want to upset Muslims by having Dr. Jones speak at the campus. And they said, no, no, that's not about freedom of speech. There was a problem here, or there's a bomb threat. That's baloney. It takes one person to say, hey, there's a bomb threat. And when they don't like you, then they get you off the campus. What about the possibility that it might have been a bomb threat? I don't believe it. Uh, if we were Muslims, they would never remove us from campus. Period. Period. And so you think uh, it's it's his speech or your speech that uh, 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 anti-Muslim or anti-Islam that they objected to? Yeah. The the problem is is there's a million and one reasons why uh, Muslim influence on that campus is all wrong, and this is proof of it today. If you want to exercise your right to speak your own, you know, what you believe, right. you've got a problem when there's so much of a Muslim influence. This is happening all over America, by the way. This is not an isolated situation. Wherever they've bought, you know, Saudi Arabia School of Muslim Studies, whatever, with their millions and millions of dollars, this is a result of the, re the result. This is the fruits that are being sown uh, at the very beginning, when these campuses buy into these, uh, you know, these uh, faculties of uh, Middle East studies, as it were. And what is it that he was saying that you think was so objectionable to the campus? Terry Jones? Yeah. He didn't say anything. <laughs> he, he didn't open his mouth because they removed him from campus. They didn't allow him to get on campus. And they said he's not allowed to come on campus for seven days. Now, if I was the Saudi Arabian prince, they would never do that to me, ever. But aren't there procedures for getting a permit to, to get to speak on the campus? Oh uh, yeah, I imagine so, but it has, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think they just don't want Pastor Jones uh, to exercise his right to speech. Do you suppose that that's uh, a result of the, of the Muslim cultural or political influence on campus? Or wouldn't that happen on any campus that Terry Jones wanted to appear at? No, I think that predominantly where you're going to have a, a greater Muslim influence, then the pressure to remove Jones will be all the greater. If this was somewhere in Arkansas or Texas or whatever, where there is a predominantly Christian uh, uh, you know, campus, this would never happen. Well, no, but it's a public university, isn't it? I know, but the, the point is, is it's the cultural milieu that dictates the politics of the campus. This is not going to happen where you have a Christian college. <laughs> he's a priest. He's a, pre he's a preacher. He's would, a Christian would a preacher. Radical, would a radical Muslim uh, preacher be welcome, you think, on a Christian campus? Why not? Yeah, why not? They have more freedom... The aspect of freedom of speech with Christians in this country is, you know, they have their own opinions, but they're not going to blackball you. Do you think as a Jewish speaker, you'd be welcome on a dominant, predominantly Christian campus? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Because what I have to say is straight out of the founding fathers of this country. What I have to say is America and the way America should be, according to our Constitution, and our Bill of Rights. But as Jews, only recently have we been uh, accepted throughout the country, do I'm, you think? I'm not worried about recently. History has swings and ebbs and flows, and I'm talking about right now in America, we are under siege. And it doesn't matter what color you are, what background, ethnically, if you believe in the Constitution, now is your time to speak up, period. And I believe that every, there's a consensus among Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindu. Hindus, Buddhists, that if you really are, you know, concerned about America, you have to stand up. And this is the bottom line.